Hey everyone, so the PS4 system update 8.00 dropped today and I'm going to try to save you guys as much trouble as I can as there have already been reports that the 8.0 update has been causing a lot of problems. For example, some people don't see their friends in their friends list. When you're trying to create a party, it gives you some kind of weird error and a bunch of other little things. So before you guys even turn on your PS4, follow my instructions to save yourself a lot of headache because a lot of people have been having problems when they install a system software update on their PS4. It breaks their PS4 and makes it unusable. And so, you know, they go through my videos trying to fix their problems. Sometimes they can fix it. Sometimes they have to wipe their entire system to get their system working again. So I'm going to show you guys a few tips. So the first thing you want to do is do not turn on your PS4. First thing you want to do, if it's connected through Ethernet cable or LAN cable, disconnect the LAN cable. So if you're using Wi-Fi for your PS4, take some notes right now because you're going to want to do a few things on your PS4 while it's disconnected from the network so it doesn't download this 8.0 update. It could potentially ruin your PS4. So after you listen to this video and take your notes, you can go ahead and temporarily disconnect your Wi-Fi router and then you can turn on your PS4 and do the following things. Okay, so first thing you'll wanna do is while your PS4 is disconnected from the network, you'll wanna go over to settings and then go down to, and then scroll all the way down to system and then go down to automatic downloads. And you see this one right here where it says system software update files. You're gonna wanna uncheck that because what could happen is that your PS4 might automatically install the 8.0 update if it's in rest mode, for example, or while your PS4 is turned on, it's just going to automatically download and install the PS4 system software update. So unchecking this box protects you from that happening because what could happen is your PS4 might get updated overnight. And when you turn it on in the morning, guess what? It's not working anymore. You're going to run to an error such as the famous cannot start the PS4. And then you're looking for videos such as mine that help you to restore your PS4 to a working condition. Okay, so that's the first step. So you're on track with what we need to get going here. Now that you disabled the automatic download and installation of the latest PS4 system software update, now we're gonna need to do one thing to protect your PS4, and that is to back up your data. Now, if you just care only about your game save data, then I'm going to show you how to back that up either with USB or online. But for right now, I'm going to show you how to back up everything on your PS4. So that includes game captures, you know, anything you downloaded, videos, songs, and so on. Now, what you're going to want to do is plug in a USB drive or USB hard drive that is big enough to store all the data on your PS4. So to find out how much data you have, you want to go to settings go down to storage and as we see right here I have 700 gigabytes of data so that's quite a bit so I'm gonna need probably at least a one terabyte storage hard drive so I will leave links down in the description below to some compatible drives that I've used and let's get this going showing you how to back up all your ps4 data so that in case something happens which believe me it happens more often than not if something happens where your ps4 becomes unusable and the only way to get it back running is to wipe out everything on the ps4 and so you don't want to be in that hard situation all right so now i'm going to show you how you can back up your ps4 to protect yourself in case something ever happens to your ps4 and you need to wipe all the data on it to get it working again so you're going to want to plug in a usb hard drive make sure it's formatted either as fat32 or xfat uh, if it's formatted as ntfs it won't work so just keep that in mind. If you're unsure how to format it correctly, you can check out some of my other videos where I show you how to format your USB drive so it works on your PS4. Now what you wanna do is head over to settings and you're gonna to wanna to head all the way down to system, then down to backup and restore. So as you see here, you're faced with three options, backup PS4, restore PS4, and delete backup data. Now we're gonna do backup PS4 right now, but let's say something ever happens to your PS4, you could do what's called an initialize PS4, which will wipe all the data on your PS4. And then we can use the restore option to restore all your stuff back to the PS4 from the external USB drive that we're gonna use right now. Now, one other thing that I do wanna point out is as you see this message down here, it says to use a connected USB storage devices, extended storage, go to settings devices, USB storage. 
select the device and then select format as the extended storage. We do not want to do this. This is for having an extra hard drive for you to install your games onto. Let's say if I run out of storage on my system drive, as you see here, I could plug in an external storage device to keep installing games so that it doesn't fill up my system storage. But that's not what we want. We want to back up our system storage onto an external drive. So everything on there, we don't want to just have an extra hard drive to install games onto. So we're going to go back again, go all the way down system backup and restore and then backup PS4. Now, the great thing about this is that anything you have on your USB external hard drive is not going to get erased. So you can leave the files that you already have on your external USB hard drive, leave them there. And in addition to that, it's going to add these things to the external hard drive. They're going to be a backup of your PS4. Now, as you see here on the left side, we do see everything that it's possible for you to back up. And it kind of tells you on the right how much free storage space is going to be available on my one terabyte hard drive, external hard drive, after everything's transferred over. Now, again, I do recommend you do a full backup. However, keep in mind that this will take quite a while. So backing up 500 gigabytes will take a long time. It's something you probably want to do overnight. So you leave it running overnight as it's backing up. But for me, what I care about right now is my saved data. That's my save game. So, so that keeps track of your progress in the game, the single player game. So for example, you delete everything on your PS4, then all your save data will be gone. You have to start the game from new, which is not something people want. So the other thing I want is game captures. So I want to keep my game captures of all the stuff I've recorded. So maybe I had some great games in there. I want to record that and then themes. So you want to keep your themes and restore them later. So it automatically will save your settings. You can't change that, but under applications, you can go ahead and press X and then you can pick and choose what games you want to back up. So again, you could technically back up everything, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep it short and I'm going to just back up a few things. Okay. So let's go ahead and deselect all, and I'm just going to back up a really small game. Okay. So I'm just going to back up the fall guys game and maybe my YouTube app. Okay, so I go to the right, confirm. As you can see, two out of 15 applications will be backed up. I'm gonna go ahead and back up my saved data. Now, as far as my captures, I am gonna go ahead and unselect that because 260 gigabytes will take a long time. So I'm just gonna, again, just show you how this works. So right now I'm just gonna back up one game, an application, which is YouTube, my saved games, which is the most important thing. I'm going to skip captures because it's just a, a lot of data. And this one does not allow you to pick and choose which captures to transfer over. It's going to transfer my theme. So I do have some cool themes I want to keep. And of course your settings will be saved. So now we're going to go ahead and click next. So on the right, this tell you that you are going to have 1.01 terabytes free after backing up. So we're going to go ahead and click next and you can go ahead and leave the default description as it is right there. It adds the date. So we're going to go ahead and select backup now. Okay, it's going to go ahead and back up and it's going to restart your PS4. So make sure you don't unplug it during this process. So it does have to restart your PS4 in order to proceed with the backup process. So as you can see, it's going to go on right here and it's going to tell you roughly how long it's going to take. So for 11 gigabytes, it should take about just under 10 minutes. Okay, as we see it ending here in the backup process, it's going to go ahead and finish backing up. And then you're going to have to press OK to restart the PS4. And again, it tells you up there the backup is complete. So go ahead and get your controller and press X. If your controller is not responding, press the PS button and then press X. Okay, and there you have it. I've shown you how to back up everything on your PS4. Now, what if you have to initialize your PS4 or do a what's called a factory reset? How do you go ahead and restore your files? For example, your saved game. So you go to settings, you go down to system, you go to backup and restore. And let's say you went ahead and initialize your PS4. Now you could do this. If you go back one menu under initialization, if you do initialize PS4, it's going to wipe out everything in your PS4. 
So reasons for doing this is maybe your PS4 is acting up and it's not working right. If you call up Sony, they'll tell you to go ahead and initialize your PS4 and then maybe that will fix your problem. But let's go back to system, back up and restore. Another thing that happens more often than not is that there is a new PS4 system software update. Your PS4 tries to install it and it fails and it leaves you in the state where your PS4 can't start and then you get the cannot start the PS4 problem. So let's pretend that you initialize your PS4. There's nothing on it. It's completely clean. So to restore, for example, your saved game data. So you, you don't, you don't want to restart your games from the beginning. You're going to click on restore PS4 and then you can select the data backup to restore from. You can have multiple backups. So I recommend that you back up at least once a month. But if you play more often, you might want to back up once every week or two weeks. So go ahead and press X. Okay, now fair warning right here is you got to read what this says. Basically, it says that it's going to initialize your PS4. It's going to wipe out everything on your PS4. Okay, so you want to do this immediately after you have initialized your PS4. And it's going to go ahead and erase all users and all the data. Anything on it will be erased. And the backup that is stored on your external USB drive will be used to restore the PS4. Also note that the PS4 will be deactivated for any users who have it activated as their primary PS4 and then you'll just have to reactivate it. Okay, so just keep that in mind when you do the restore. And if you're ready to do the restore, you're gonna go ahead and press restore. So I'm not gonna do that right now because my PS4 is working perfectly fine and I don't wanna take the time to do the restore. Now the other thing you can do is if you don't want that backup anymore, you just click on delete backup data, select the backup and then hit delete and it's gone forever. I'm not sure why you want to do that. Maybe free up some space. Okay. So as we see here under save data, it doesn't let you really pick and choose which games you want to save the data for. So I'm going to show you another quick way of backing up just your game saves in case you wanted to just back up that. But pretty much this is the only way to back up everything on your PS4. If you wanted to do captures individually, I can show you that and as well as the game save data. So if you're on the home screen, you want to go over to capture gallery and then select all games, all video clips. So this is the area where you can back up your game captures to your external drive. So for example, if I wanted to capture uh, this one right here on the right, I would click the options menu and say copy to USB storage. And then you see it's already checked. I could check multiple. So if I wanted to do these two, I'd go ahead and check them and then hit copy. Now it, it is going to create a few folders on your external drive, PS4, share, and then video clips. Click OK. It is going to go ahead and copy those game captures over to your external hard drive and you'll have them there as a backup. So that's how to do individual backups of your game captures. All right, so let's go back. And I'm gonna show you how you can back up your individual game saves. So go to settings, go to application save data management, and then you wanna select save data and system storage. And then you're gonna to wanna to say copy to USB storage device. Now you can pick and choose which things you wanna back up. So for example, I wanna back up Street Fighter. So there's two things I can back up, the settings and the progress data. I want both and I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. And it's going to copy it over to my external USB drive and there it is pretty quick. Now, this is very important because this could save you a lot of trouble if you have PlayStation Plus membership and I do recommend you pick that up. So the membership gives you two free games a month and it allows you to do cloud storage. So with cloud storage, it will automatically save your game data to the cloud if you have the right settings. So what you want to do is go to auto upload down here and you want to enable automatic uploads and you can pick and choose which games you want to have that enabled for. But this is the important one. Enable automatic uploads. This is going to save you a lot of time and headache because then if something happens in your PS4, you don't have to worry. All your game saves are in the cloud and you'll be able to get those back. So. Maybe not your game captures, but you will get your save games back. And as you see here, if you ever wanted to restore your save data, you can go to save data and online storage, go to download to system storage. And for example, if I wanted to download my latest Street Fighter backup, 
I could select both and hit download and that's gonna restore my game saves back to my system storage on my PS4 and get me back to where I was before my PS4 messed up. Okay guys, that's about it. Now that I showed you how to back up your data before you install the system software update 8.0 to save you a lot of possible headache. Even if it messes up your PS4, you have the backup of your data. So that's the important part. So at this point, again, you wanna go to your PS4, disconnect it from the network, temporarily turn off your Wi-Fi, go to settings, go to system, Go to automatic downloads and uncheck system software update files for download, okay? You'll just want to have the setting turned off from now on because you're going to want to wait to see how it plays out with each system software update. So far, I have been hearing reports the system software update 8.0 is having some problems. Okay, so after you backed up your PS4, you can manually install the system software update 8.0 yourself when you're ready to install it. So go to settings, go down to system software update. I've already installed 8.0, so mine's fine, but it will show up right here. It'll say system software update 8.0 is available. Do you want to download it? You download it and then you install it. And hopefully everything works out for you. You don't end up with a non-working PS4, but if you do, no worries, you have your backup. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.